Hi, I'm Mikey Jeanson, a gameplay programmer with a background in Unreal Engine and C++. I've helped make several games, including Your Average Bear, but now I'm a full-time UEFN developer, and this is Verse Boost. Welcome to the project everybody. Today we are going to be talking about why you should probably stop using strings in your data structures and start using enums. First things first, I want to talk about what an enum is in case you are unfamiliar. Basically, an enum allows you to have a human readable value that looks a lot like a string, but it is actually represented in the code as more like an integer. Let me show you an example. So here we have this function that shows off a couple different ways you can use an enum. The most simple being a compare, you know, we have this unknown shape, we want to figure out if it's a circle or not. And then we can make maps with it. And basically what I want to get at is why this is much better than doing something like this, okay? I want to cover exactly why you should use enums and why you should not be using strings. Let's look at all strings. So exactly what are we doing here? We have all these different strings and basically we're mimicking making a roguelike device that is going to have to know exactly what type of weapons it's storing exactly where they are and exactly what to return so in this case we're just using an int you could say that's the index of the weapon in an item grantor or something like that so let's take a look at what we are doing so basically I have a bunch of different operations here you'll see what we have for string here and basically I'm doing this for every single type we have if else case we have a map read map write, and then we're doing a comparison and that's just by finding it in all strings pretty simple stuff so here's some graphs I made after doing the profiling you'll see that in every case string is slower than an enum and in some cases enums are actually faster than integers you'll see on the right side how much faster each operation is for enums and ints. So see for if else statements, enums are 24% faster. And case statements, enums are 60% faster almost. Map reads, 32. Map writes, 29. Comparisons, 29. So let's jump back into the code and look under the hood to see exactly why strings are slower than enums. So in a string comparison, like we have here, every single character has to be checked and it has to be checked against the string to check right so if our string is submachine gun epic we have to first fail at this a 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 then oh we got an s u b you know all the way down to the c where oh it's not an e failed then we have to do it all the way to this u then all the way to this r and then when we get to the e oh my gosh p i c we did it return eight okay so that's what happens in a string comparison it's pretty slow like obviously we failed on the first letter for these ones right we're failing pretty fast but on these ones where they're very similar it's taking us way too long to fail this comparison so let's contrast that to enums so why enums are so much faster is because enums are stored as basically you can abstract them to think that they are stored exactly like an integer. So basically what this is checking is, this method is just passing in an integer, let's say it's submachine gun epic, so in this case we'll say it's eight, and it's basically just checking, is eight equal to zero? Is eight equal to one? And it just fails very fast, right? The CPU can handle that very fast compared to a string. So let's look at another operation. Let's look at case. So what's happening here is we'll pass the string in and in runtime, this string will actually be converted to a unique integer based on what the value is. And the compiler, when you compile this code, will make do the similar thing to all these values. Okay, so it'll make a unique integer value. You can think of it like that. What you're doing is actually hashing, if you want to look it up. But it's hashing all these values at compile time, making a jump map to jump to based on what string to check is. And this value will be created at runtime. So that's where the slowness comes in because each time a case statement for a string, not for an enum, we'll look at that in a sec, 
but for a string, it has to create a new hash value. And let's contrast it again to an enum. What's happening here is, like I said before, you're basically passing an integer, so you don't have to do any of these hashing operations that were slowing down the string case. Now you just evaluate this value, see where to jump to, and you jump right to it, and then you go on from there. So basically you can apply why strings are slower to enums to every other operations. The comparison is just a lot slower, so reading, writing to maps, and then finding things in an array, it's just slower. So let's look at the memory considerations for using a string versus using an enum. The string we have here is assault rifle uncommon. That's 18 characters. That means it takes 18 bytes to store it. In contrast, in enum, if we had 15 values like we do now, or we had 256 or less, we would only need to use one byte to store each enum value. And let's say we're using all the guns in our roguelike, well then we'll be over 256 because we're in the 700s, right? Well, it still only uses two bytes per value. And if you were using strings, obviously if you have 700 strings that are of this length, you're going to be using way too much memory and you're going to be slowing your code down just unnecessarily. So now let's talk about another reason I love enums and I hate strings is because of things like this. Let's say we're using a case statement and you can see there's actually no default case. If we add a default case, it's going to yell at us and say, you don't need that. Okay. It's not going to ever run. So you might as well just get rid of it. But if, in string, we have to have that default case, right? If we get rid of the string default case, we're not going to be able to compile. That's an error because we aren't handling every possible string. And that's what I want to talk about is how error prone strings are compared to enums. So let's say we add a new value, right? Let's add a new key to our enum keys. Let's add a epic sniper, okay? Well now our compiler as you see here has already figured out that we have an error and we're not going to be able to compile our code. Well that's so much better than having a runtime error, right? Because we just have to add in the epic sniper and we're good there, right? If we add in a new key here at strings our compiler is not going to let us know, right? This errors for this two string method. Let's have ChatGPT sort that out. Thank you, ChatGPT. Anyways, you, we don't have any errors anywhere, right? So we're going to have a runtime error at best, right? It's going to say, oh, we didn't handle uh, the sniper. We didn't handle it, right? That's the best case scenario. But that's still an error, right, guys? We do not want that to be happening. And all it takes is a misspelling. Do you guys see that? Oops, I spelled machine gun common instead of machine gun common. Whoops, I didn't notice it when I coded it, but now I have a bug and the compiler doesn't know. If I misspell an enum, it knows it right away. I can't compile, I have to fix it, right? And that's what's so much better about enums is they're so much less prone to errors. And that's what we want, right, guys? We want our code to break before it even gets out into the hands of the world, before it even gets to our hands, before we can even play test it. We want our code to break as soon as possible. And it's happening instantly in VS Code, right? We, we're missing an enum value. Hey, you're missing an enum value. We misspelled something. Hey, you misspelled something. If we misspell a string, if we're missing a string, we'll, we might never know. It might take us like hours to debug saying I coded everything right I didn't do anything wrong what's happening I can't believe this and I've fallen in this trap many people have fallen in this trap and that's exactly why most game developers pretty much all of them will advise you to not use strings thanks for watching the video I will see you guys next week um, I'll be at Unreal Fest in case I don't get a video out before then please come say hi to me um, tall with curly hair my name is Mikey thanks for watching goodbye